What's going on, David here? I'm gonna show you how to connect your own personal domain to Card. So I'm gonna do this on a site that I have for Ty Lopez. Um, it's the best of Ty Lopez. So I'm just gonna show you how to actually connect your own domain. And what that means is if you have, you know, whatever, your site.com. So for in this example, I have best of Ty Lopez.com that I want to use for Card. So I'm just gonna show you how to do that. So I have Card opened here, the editor. And what I want to do is click this save button up here in the top right. And you'll notice that I have checked use a custom domain. So what that allows me to do is type in my domain. So I've already purchased this domain from GoDaddy, uh, bestoftylopez.com. So I'm just going to open a new window and go to GoDaddy and log into my account and show you how to get that set up in the settings. Okay, so I'm just going to scroll to, if you don't see this page when you log into GoDaddy, uh, you, typically you'll just click this down arrow up here on the right and go to my products and my domains and you'll, you'll get to this page eventually. But what we want to do is scroll to the domain we want to use. So this one here is the one I want to use, bestoftylopez.com. So you can see here. So once you see this page, we'll just go ahead and scroll down to manage DNS. And you'll get to this page here, you'll see these records. And we're not going to do anything with the name servers, we're just going to make some changes in the records here. Uh, if you already have a domain and you have forwarding set up over here, go ahead and delete that forwarding. Um, and then go ahead and refresh this page. And any of the CNAME records that you can delete that uh, go ahead and, and remove those out of there. And what we want to do is go ahead and create a new A record, which you'll do by clicking add, and then you'll select A. And then for the host, what we'll do is come back over here and the host will just be the at sign. And then the target will be this IP address right here. So we'll go ahead and copy that and put the at sign for the host points to and then we'll paste in that IP address and then just click save. I've already done that right up here so I'm not going to save it again. And then to add the second portion of it you would go ahead and make a CNAME www record for bestoftylopez.com and in case you don't know that's what this record is right here. This at symbol means bestoftylopez.com or whatever domain that that the DNS settings are inside of. So in this instant, this was already set up correctly. So if you were to do this, you would just put in a C name, create a C name, put your www for the host, and then points to, you can either do the at sign or go ahead and, and copy uh, bestoftylopez.com. Do not include that little period at the end right here. Uh, just put in your domain.com. So, and then click save and you're good to go. Sometimes it takes a few hours for it to go live, but once you get those settings put in GoDaddy and saved, go ahead and click publish on your card dashboard. And once it's successfully published and that, that site is live, it'll say view site like you see here. And we can just go ahead and open that up and you'll notice bestoftylopez.com and it does have the the SSL certificate, so it is HTTPS, so it is a secure page now. Um, sometimes you'll see offers out there to buy SSL certificates, so just know that if you're using card, that SSL certificate comes free with the site, so that's really cool. And um, so if it's not, it might take a couple hours, like I said, for it to publish, so it, it should say that it's successfully published, um, but you'll just click done because you won't have this view button yet and it'll take a little while for it to go live. So just keep checking back on it. But that's all it takes to get your, your own personal domain connected to card. Um, if you have any other questions, go ahead and let me know down in the comments. This was just a quick one, uh, just a quick tutorial that I've had a lot of questions on. So I wanted to get this one out there. Uh, if you like this video, go ahead and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.